All right, greetings friends and welcome back to the midweek video. <clears throat> Today, we're going with some fine whiskey right here, rather than a beer. It all ties into the tribute shave. We're going to be tributing the Red Island Shaver today. And so he's not much for beer anymore these days. He likes his bourbons, whiskeys, you know. So I figured I would bust out the Westward Whiskey. And this one is actually the Oregon Stout Cask. And so this is a whiskey cask strength that was then aged further in Oregon bourbon barrel aged stout beer casks. So it's like an inception of the beer was bourbon barrel aged and then the whiskey was made and put into the bourbon barrel aged beer barrels. If you catch my drift. It's a whole thing. And this thing is fucking complex as all get out. Let's just uh go ahead and pop the top on this bad boy. We got our uh, Festival of the Dark Arts Glen Carry in here. Just gonna get a little skosh. Just a tiny little skosh. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, do the drive-by. Very fucking nice on the nose. I mean, it has some heat. Like, this ain't no... I don't think it's... Yeah, so it's 90 proof. 45%. Not bad. But it's not like banging and kicking with burn. Kind of coat the palate. Swish it around. <clears throat> Initially, you get like a lot of um, a lot of wood character. But what I love so much about this is it actually like chocolate comes through. Like creamy milk chocolate. I fucking really like this one. And, you know, a lot of beer stouts have chocolate as one of their characteristics. I think that kind of comes through in the whiskey. It's awesome. Alright. I'm just going to move the bottle out of the way. But Westward Whiskey out of Oregon. That is some good shit. So... We're going to be using Mojito Chill from First Canadian Shave. My boy Justin the Red Island Shaver loves himself some First Canadian Shave. He is a fine Canadian shaver. And I've always appreciated the dude. I've been watching his channel for a while now. I'm not like his oldest and most loyal subscriber, but I've been watching the channel for a while now. And First Canadian Shave is a mainstay in his den. And this stuff is great. It's bright. It's effervescent. It has, you know, you get a little tingle of the mint. You get a lot of lime. And then you kind of get that, just a little bit of that booziness. But it's, it because it's a, you know, like a light white cocktail, It it's not like dark or warm in any way. It's very bright. It's very uh, effervescent. I love it. And this one is jam-packed with menthol. Thus, the chill. So... Got that loaded up into the Lancaster Bowl there. <clears throat> I am going to be using my Sawdust Creation Studios made by Bobby Moffat brush. And it actually has a uh, Canadian um, knot in it. And that is from Paragon Shaving. And that's this 25mm bore knot. And so that's what we're going to be using today. There's the brush. It's a very nice handle. It has an attractive shape. I wish you would do this shape more often. It's a very attractive shape. And um, the finish could have had a little bit better finish. But it's a nice pour. It's a very attractive shape. It's actually somewhat small. Um, and when I got it, I don't know. I was in the mood to get a bore. And I thought this handle would accommodate a bore nicely. And I'm happy I did because it's you don't see like custom handled bore brushes all that often. A lot of times people get their bore brush and they have like some basic bitch handle um, accounting to maybe like 
a 20 to 30 dollar expense in total but I don't know I wanted to give my boar brush <laughs> the bougie treatment so I put it in a cut uh, you know an artisan handle and I'm happy I did I do like this brush I don't use boar all the time I only have two in my den in totality but um, it's always a pleasure to use them it's definitely not like performance that keeps me away from using them <clears throat> They're just in the rotation along with all the other shit. Anyhow. So I got a couple Canadian made things. I figured I would do a straight razor shave with the Wade and Butcher. Um, I don't have some of the badass razors that Justin has. Um, like his fucking The Beast, the ale razor that he has. That thing, that, the name is so appropriate. It's this fucking big ass beast of a razor. And um, the thing just looks fantastic. Um, Ale would definitely be on my list of uh, people to work with when it came to getting myself a, a custom straight razor. I've seen multiple of his um, works and they are fucking nice. And the one that Justin has is no exception. But I figured I would just bust out the old Wade and Butcher. And everybody likes a Wade and Butcher shave, so. Figured I would do that. Looks like we got ourselves good lather going here. Yeah. I could probably add a little bit more water, but we'll see once we get it onto the face. So, I think what I'm going to do now is take my contacts out. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, I do wear contacts. Um, my vision, I don't know my stats, but my vision is pretty shit. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and, uh, take my contacts out. I'm sure you can see it. I'm already leaning in <laughs> to the camera because I can't fucking see. I mean, <clears throat> the whole picture is fuzzy. Like... I'm a probably a total of like a foot and a half from the mirror. I'm I'm relatively close to the mirror. Like I would have to scoot back to be touching. So I'm fairly close to the mirror. I can't even like <laughs> I could see the outline, you know, but my facial features, like I have wrinkles on my forehead and whatnot. Can't see any of those. It's very much a fucking blurry picture right here. Um it's a little bit better on the mirror, but blurry nonetheless. And I figured I would do this to live, uh, because Justin has his, uh, struggles with, uh, his eyes. And, uh, the shit that he does with the straight razor is nothing short of badass. And... I just want to fucking be like Justin, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm going to have to use the force a little bit. There's no fucking doubt about it. I'm going to be leaning in, and I'm sure you'll notice. But, it's the thought that counts. And, um, I am in no way trying to offend nor patronize Justin. I'm trying to honor my buddy Justin with this tribute shave. I could only fucking imagine. <clears throat> and this is just my way of honoring Justin. Using products that I know he likes. Putting myself in his shoes. To a lesser extent, obviously. But it's all out of love. It's entirely out of love. I think Justin knows that, and I, I'm i I'm hoping that uh, he takes this tribute the right way. But I'm not going to drone on about that, because these products are too fucking good to uh, explain myself on something that I doubt Justin will even <laughs> be mad about. But I'm taking my contacts off, and we're going to do this fucking shave 
Justin style, the Red Island Shaver. If you guys haven't checked out the Red Island Shaver, he's been around way longer than I have. And he knows his shit when he, he doesn't always, um, he doesn't always slap down game on the table. Sometimes he just, you know, <laughs> lets you make your own mistakes, kind of like a good mentor would. <laughs> but when he decides to throw some game down on the table, most of the time, <laughs> I shut up and listen because even if it's like definitely contradictory to what I'm saying, I know this motherfucker's probably right. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got the Wade and Butcher. I believe I talked to him about uh, ditching these scales and he told me to keep them. I'm still undecided on that, but as of right now, I still listen to you. Still got the scales. So, Wade and Butcher, this is the Elite. And I can feel that nice menthol chill kicking in. Alright. <laughs> I'm already trying to lean closer to the camera. Fucking hell of a time keeping your, your lines tight. <laughs> When you can't fucking see the lines. <laughs> okay, goddamn. Use the force. I just, uh, just felt my mustache. <clears throat> One thing about, uh, <laughs> lining up the mustache and whatnot by using the toe, a lot of it. <laughs> Needs to be based on that, uh, knowing where the toe's at. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Probably, <laughs> probably took a little bit off the mustache, but it's not that bad. I got fucking mustache to spare. Let's get our fucking grip in order before we move on. <laughs> God damn. This is something. This is a fucking challenge. Like, the blindfold shave was something with a DE. This is something to behold. Like, no contacts. <laughs> I think I'm struggling more with no contacts and my eyes open with a straight razor than I was with no contacts. And a safety razor with a blindfold. Hopefully, I'm at least getting close. But if I'm not, it's all good. I got the Garve on standby. This is the stainless steel Carve. I actually only have one Carve. My boy, uh, Justin, has all the carves. <laughs> he has the stainless, the aluminum, and the brass. And, um, he's the real fucking MVP when it comes to carve. He's got a nice collection, and he even has, like, a 3D printed stand that I'm envious of to go with his, uh, carves. So, Justin, although he has his, uh, his difficulties, um, with his vision... He is a boss when it comes to straight razor shaving. And he'll finish up with the carve or, or some other DE. Definitely felt a little mustache on that side too. No big deal though. <clears throat> I always enjoy the story time that he has been implementing into his videos as of late. Story time has been a nice kind of like, um, blast of content for his channel. I think people are tuned in. I think they're interested, and I think they're actually getting, like, real enjoyment out of these story times. I know I am. 
I have no idea how that line looks. <laughs> to be honest, like, I see the white up against the black, but it's like, I have no idea if that's straight. I'm just kind of like trying to hear feedback. <clears throat> All right, we're going to call that a pass one. <laughs> No idea if it was good or bad, but we're going to call that a pass one. We'll go ahead and uh, re-lather here. I'll put that down to the side. That was some scary shit. I don't think I cut myself. I didn't feel any, like, pinches or anything like that. Don't think I cut myself, but I wouldn't be surprised if I did. Like I said, I think the blindfold shave with the DE was significantly harder than this. <clears throat> Just trying to get a little bit more lather here. Scooping it all to one side. <clears throat> so, the story times, he's been telling some trucker stories which have been hilarious, sometimes sketchy and scary. And then uh, just recently he did a, uh, he did a, an old band story where he was kicking around with his buddies <laughs> and the pizza guy probably saw more than he wanted to. These sort of things are uh, <laughs> just fucking hilarious. I think they're a good burst of uh, content and entertainment. I mean, who knows how many stories he has in his repertoire, but... For the time being, they are fucking holding my attention thoroughly. Like, I always tune in for the shave, the products, the man behind the, uh, the videos. But the story times have been fucking enjoyable. Um, on his video, he mentioned, you know, that he was thinking of taking a, a step back if it wasn't for... You know, of community members telling him not to. And I think that's <clears throat> a good, like, indicator of how much he means. Because when, when your viewers are telling you not to go, the same ones that tune in each and every shave, that's because they have an emotional, you know, connection with you, man. Like, it's a family, just like he said. And, um, I would, I put on my comment, yeah, I would have been devastated <laughs> if he would have just, like, up and left. Obviously, I think he would have done, like, an outro video or something, but I would have been fucking devastated. <laughs> get so much entertainment out of Justin I love it when he does hit, like his intro is his music he's a, he's a badass fucking um, guitar player he's actually <laughs> recently somewhat recently he did a video where he was playing in the beginning and he kind of like spoofed himself like the intro isn't the intro didn't play right and he was like <laughs> he was like downstairs like fucking play the intro and then he played it and kind of wasn't 100% so he cut back to uh to him in the shave den he was like oh it's it's fucking hard to find good help around here and he was like hey Play it right, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, God, I got a kick out of that. That was a good fucking uh, spoof of himself. But he's a badass guitar player. He's a badass straight razor shaver. When he says using the force, he fucking means that shit. Like, I have no idea how my fucking lines look. I assuming, I'm assuming I'm doing all right. But I won't know until it's all over. <clears throat> and honestly, I think taking my contacts out and having my eyes exposed and then going straight into a highly mentholated soap, 
Like, I can feel, like, my eyes welling up a little bit. Like, obviously, I don't got the um, waterworks going. But I could feel them welling up. They're probably a bit strained as well, but still. And... I even because of the because of my eyes welling up, I can even like get a sense of the sniffles underneath because of the the tear glands and whatnot. So the menthol I think does a little bit more without the contacts. Um to my eyes anyways. Better get that tight. <laughs> don't want to push it when you can't see definitely not worth not worth pushing it when you can't see what's going on but a drink will help that I was put on to so many Canadian made artisans and products because of Justin. I'm pretty tuned in with what the US has to offer. But I was totally in the dark of what Canada has to offer. And watching Justin's channel being like, you know, a frequent viewer. I'm actually going to pad the tear. Going away from the eye as to not bring no menthol into the eye. But, I'm actually, you know, being an avid viewer of his channel, I would see one Canadian made product after another. One Canadian artisan after another. And naturally, I want to be like... Um, you know, these shavers that I see and respect. So I started picking up some Canadian made products. And you know, him, Justin, along with Lyle the Sask Shaver, and fucking JB from Distorted Edge, and uh, Ken, <clears throat> uh, I think it's Margison, um, from Cow Shaves. It's like, these guys... And their fucking usage of all these can uh, Canadian-made products really kind of... Did I shave right there? Or was that my beard? I don't know. I'm going to do some pickups with the carve regardless. But the uh, those guys using all those Canadian-made products really put me onto that. Now I have an array of Canadian-made artisans in my den. Different scent offerings. I've been a repeat customer with most of them. And... I could tell you that these guys aren't bullshitting you when they're saying that these Canadian made products are fucking good because they really are. <clears throat> and I wouldn't have really known or even given a chance to these guys if it wasn't for being like an avid viewer of their channels. <clears throat> and so I really uh, thank those guys for that. So I got the carve here, the carve. And we're just going to do some pickups. I'm just going to put a little thin layer of whatever I got in the bowl here. I don't think it has to be pretty. Just going to do a quick, quick pass through. <clears throat> but... Definitely, definitely, definitely check out Justin the Red Island Shaver as well as those other fine Canadian shavers that I mentioned. They, uh, they are very much a part of our fine wet shaving community and uh, I respect all of those guys.
One thing I'll say though, I know shit is rough, and um, our channels don't hardly grow, <laughs> but we're in it kind of for the love of the community, the love of the hobby, the love of the gear and products and artisans. No need to uh, to leave for any, you know, bullshit reason. You know, leave on a high note. Leave when things are when when things are good. Leave when you're happy, but. Don't leave because bullshit's going on. Write it out. Make it better. You know, be be part of the source that makes it turn back around. And then if you still want to leave, leave, you know, leave it in a fucking better place than you found it. <clears throat> I, I would hate to see any of these old schoolers leave that I respect so fucking much. You know what I mean? I've I've learned so much from them. I, I, it would just be... It would fucking... It would suck, you know? <clears throat> so, obviously everybody has. It's their decision to make, but... That would fucking suck. And, um... I think this hobby's much betty, better with you guys here. And, you know, specifically Justin, because, you know, he was talking about stepping back. And he has his own struggles, but I think it's way better with you guys here. We all know how to shave now. <clears throat> For the most part, we all know how to shave. You don't need... To teach us particularly most of us are watching for the man behind the videos and you know don't 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 ever get caught up in the you know I need a constant influx of new products into the den because you don't most people are there for the, the person behind the video. <clears throat> Me included. I really, really, really respect um, Justin. The things he's told me, the products that he's put me on to, open my eyes to, and the feats <laughs> that he accomplishes with a fucking straight razor. It's fucking amazing. <clears throat> so, Justin, I hope you enjoyed this tribute, man. This one goes out to you. I'm going to be using Purely Skinful, another um, Canadian-made product. This one is Hanover, which um, I believe has something to do with the gin. Um, and it says... A refreshing yet robust fusion of gin, zesty citrus, and fizzy tonic intertwined with radiant lilac and violet blossoms finished with soft woods and musk. So I figured since this was based off, you know, kind of like a gin and tonic, and then the mojito chill is obviously based off a mojito, they're kind of in the same, same vein, same realm. God damn, that feels velvety. I can tell it has like a milky consistency. The Purely Skinful Aftershave Splash, absolutely one of my favorites. I did feel a little sting. But I think this Purely Skinful 
is definitely going to quell that sting. I actually had a pretty good first application there, so I don't think I need any more. I even had enough residual on the hands for the forearms. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay. So, that was my tribute shave to Justin, the Red Island Shaver. I really hope you guys go check his channel out, as well as those other Canadian gentlemen that I mentioned. But, cheers, Justin. I hope you know how much I appreciate you and how much I would be devastated if you up and left. But, I understand and love you regardless. Um, thank you for all the shit that you've put me onto all these amazing Canadian products and artisans. Thank you for all the fucking tips that you've told me along the way. Thanks for straightening me out when sometimes I get a little bit too brash and abrasive. Sometimes you kind of question my actions, you know. Did you really have to say that? <laughs> You're a lot wiser than I am. But um, I, regardless, thank you. Cheers, buddy. I appreciate you. And this tribute was uh, going out to you, so... Hope you guys participate in Tribute Shave Week. Tribute one of your favorite shavers, family or friends, whatever. Just jump in. You don't got to do the whole week. Just one here or there. Whatever you want. It's just for fun, and I think it's a good way to show appreciation. So, cheers. Have a good rest of your week, guys.